Greetings. Okay, so this is going to be a tarot quickie for the day. Tarot quickie vibes. Um, I might post this on my Instagram because I don't really post my reads on my Instagram like that. Um, so if you're on YouTube or you're on Instagram, happy Tarot Tuesday. I'm going to use a couple of decks. <clears throat> All right, let's see. This might be like a love energy read, just saying. Because <coughs> I was getting like two different, I keep hearing, I don't know if you guys remember Olivia, the singer Olivia, she was, I think, signed to G-Unit like back in the early, mid-2000s. She had a, like a few songs and stuff, like features and stuff. And I kept hearing like the one with her and 50 Cent, um, the best friend song, like, I kept hearing that, like, so I don't know if that's something that resonates. Ooh, what's falling on the deck? Ooh, you got Summer Walker card. It's not what it seems. If I was your best friend, I want you around all the time. Can I be your best friend? I promise for you will be mine. Face just the pen. AP is not the pen. Something like that. I don't remember how it goes. But some of you guys could be, ooh, promises. You're glowing. Roadrunner. Okay, I don't know if this, ooh, there's a lot of cards. Dang. Oh, we don't have time. Mm -mm, spirit, we ain't got the time for all of this. Goodness, what is going on? Yeah, so I'm getting like two different energies. Like I said, I heard two different Olivia songs. I heard the Best Friend song and I heard the Biz Ounce one. That song came out, I don't know if that was like, that was like right early in the 2000s because I think I was not even in junior high yet when that song came out. I don't know. Like some of you guys are fed up. Like y'all remember that song. Oh my God, Spirit, Spirit, we want me to sing and stuff. And I'd be like, no. Nah. But... How's it go? Like, I'm about to feel some. So I can't take the shit no more. But your friend broken that Cause I can't trust you. I'm riding high now. So nigga, fuck you. I'm about to piss. Something like that. I'm not doing that, Spirit. We ain't doing that. But I do feel like this is a mixed energy. Or it could be... Mm, it could be like a mixture. Like, I don't know why I'm getting like friends with benefits or if it never crossed the line of sexual benefits then it was like friends with some type of love energy involved so i'm getting a lot of different feminines here you got like a few feminine energies a few masculine energies here you got the red pill seek the truth you have naive it's not what it seems so like this person if you are like a woman or you are the feminine energy because you got the feminine energy card, this person could have like made promises to you. This person was a runner. This person could have ghosted you a lot. Ooh, I feel like you're being called to raise your vibration with this ascension card and be true to yourself. Be true to your identity of who you are because I do get like this situation can make you feel some type of way. You're glowing. Third eye with the prince card. Like, this person knows what they're doing. They know. Um, this could be a masculine that has a little bit of feminine energy as well. It's something that maybe that they're not telling you. Some of you guys, this could range between a few years or a few months. Like, the situation, like, it's... As far as you've been dealing with this person a few months to a few years. Ooh, okay. The hangman. This person can feel stuck right now. This person can feel stuck. As far as... It's something that you're not seeing that this person might be obligated to. I feel like they got to do something that's not easy right now. Like, I don't know. Mm, I'm not making no excuses. You might know with the high priestess, you might be able to sense this. Like... Definitely with the third eye energy. Then you got the star. <sighs> Mind you, all of these are major arcana cards. I think there's only one minor arcana that's like a kind of like a little sample card or whatever. Yeah, you guys are fed up with this. Like you literally want to biz ounce. <laughs> like, 
it's something here that's going on with the star it could be there's elements to the situation like there's something that is like ooh, how do i explain it it feels like divine timing or something not about the right time at the bottom of the deck you have the lover's card so yeah this is not an easy choice three of wands energy this is not an easy decision. I do feel like there's some type of separation right now. This is not going to be everybody's situation, but I'm feeling like for someone, maybe like one or two, not a very large number of you. It's like a very small number where this person could be in jail, like locked up or they're about to go to jail. They're, they're about to get locked up for a few months or a few years. That could be very specific to some of you. Like I'm getting that something with jail, jail time. But if that's not the case, then it's something that someone is, how do I explain this? Because I feel like this could be a mixture of different situations. Someone does expect you to kind of like hold them down or wait for them or something. I don't know. Or, oh, the justice card tried to fly out at the, or at the bottom of the deck when I was shuffling. So let's see. Let me pull one more. Death. Yeah, someone's being sentenced. I don't want to say like it's literally, I don't feel like anybody's being sentenced to like the death penalty or anything, but something here is like, it's going to cause an ending of some sort or an ending of a cycle. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is at the bottom of the deck, an ending of a karmic cycle, the Empress. Someone here, a feminine energy, you got to love yourself. This situation is not healthy for you. It's toxic. I do feel like spirit wants you to, it's almost like this person wants your devotion because the best friend song, like you guys could consider yourselves friends or best friends or, but it's like this benefits on the side and it's blocking other partners or you got some type of commitment to a person that is not giving you like a title or anything. It's just like, they're keeping you in this limbo energy, keeping you in this waiting state or something. And it's like, no because mm -mm. this is blocking you 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 want to take the, the the red pill sorry because i'm gonna angle the camera a certain way so if you take this red pill it's going to reveal some truth but are you willing to see the truth of the situation this person's priorities are all on themselves like hmm, goodness yeah there's some type of law justice or something in this it may not be literally like jail or legal it could be like a spiritual court thing where spirits calling judgment on something something needs to come to a close and i really feel like this empress some of you guys could be pregnant with somebody's child or something and that's part of the reason why or this is someone that you have a child with already and there's like this false sense of loyalty or something but no you know, take it as it resonates because I'm getting a lot of different messages. But there is, I'm going to sum this up in one thing because this is already eight minutes in. I don't want to do too much. But the energy from this to me, I'm getting like, this person is not committed to you and loyal to you. If you are feminine energy, you are a woman. This person's not committed to you as much as you are to them. This feels like somebody that's kind of like, friend zoning you or keeping you in this friends with benefits of situationship and not with plans to really commit to you it's like they want you to be there for them when they need you and they're blocking you from love or being loved by the right person it's also something about self-love and finding your true identity outside of this because i feel like there's a little bit of grooming energy here as well especially if you knew this person at a very young age or maybe when you were at a low point in your life this person grooms you in some type of way so no mm -mm. no i'm gonna leave it at that Whoever this is meant for, hope this was helpful. Much love as always. Be blessed. Be safe. Um, before I get out of here, there may be some Scorpio energy. Could be um, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, um, Pisces energy, Cancer energy, um, Aries energy. Take it as it resonates. Much love as always. Be blessed. Be safe. Take care. Peace.